The King James Bible, the Book of Job, chapter 37. At this also my heart trembleth, and is moved out of his, his place. Hear attentively the noise of his voice, and the sound that goeth out of his mouth. He directeth it under the whole of whole heaven, and his lightning unto the ends of the earth. After, after it a voice roareth, he thundereth with the voice of his excellency, and he will not stay them when his voice is heard. God thundereth marvelous, marvelously with his voice. Great things doth he, which he cannot compre we cannot comprehend. For he saith in the snow, Be thou on earth, likewise to the small rain, and to the great rain of his strength. He sealeth up the hand of every man, that all men may know his work. Then the beasts go into dens, and remain in their places. Out of the south cometh the whirlwind, and cold out of the north. By the breath of God frost is given, and the breath of the waters is straightened. Also by watering he wearieth the thick cloud, he scattereth his bright cloud. And it is turned round about by his counsels, that may, that may do whatsoever he commandeth them upon the face of the wor world in the earth. He causeth it to come, whether for correction or for his land, or for his mercy. Hearken unto this, O Job, stand still and consider the, the wondrous works of God. Dost thou know when God disposed them, and caused the light of, the, of his cloud to shine? Dost thou know the balancings of the clouds, and the wondrous works of him which is perfect in knowledge? How thy garments are worn when he quieteth the earth by the sound of south wind hast thou with him spent, spread out the sky which is strong and is and as a molten looking glass teach us that teach us what we shall say unto him for we cannot order our speech by reason of darkness shall it be told him that i speak if a man speak surely he shall be swallowed up and now men see not the bright light which is in the clouds but the wind passeth and cleanseth them. Fair weather cometh out of the north, with, with God is terrible majesty. Touching the Almighty, we cannot find him out. He is excellent in power and in judgment, and in plenty of justice, and he will not afflict. Men do therefore fear him. He respecteth not any that are wise of heart.